Hello again, uh, we're back looking at the electrodynamic ion traps experiment from Newtonian Labs. And what we've done now is we switched to the uh, linear trap, and uh, you can look at the documentation to see the geometry of the trap. Okay, and then the camera is looking down from the side, and, uh, and I think it will become clear when we put some particles in, so let's do that. We'll just turn up the uh, field and put a bunch of particles in. Okay, so there they are, lots of particles. And what's happening is the trap is a two-dimensional trap, it's linear, so there's trapping in two dimensions. So that's the vertical dimension as you see it, and the direction in and out of the, uh, the screen. Okay, that's the, those are the main trapping direction. The uh, left to right, uh, there's very little trapping because it's a linear trap. We have these Teflon end caps that keep the particles uh, centered to some degree though. So. And here's the, the wand. I can put it in here. That's the wand. See, the wand will repel particles like so. It's great fun. You can push uh, particles around using just the wand. So those are the electric fields from the wand. I charged the wand up, you see. And so it's negatively charged, and it will push those particles around. And so, uh, as I like to say, you can literally poke a stick at these uh, ion traps by sticking this wand in and see what it, seeing what it does. So there's, uh, there's my hand in the background, those are my fingers. Okay, those are outside, outside the trap. Okay. So I can turn the trap, let me try to get that up. Okay. So, let's do put some more particles in. So there we have that, and I'll just charge up my wand, stick it in there. And uh, there's a bunch of particles, okay? So uh, they repel each other, and so they don't fall to the center of the trap, the center being a line in this case, uh, but instead they're spread out. So they're uh, uh, being pushed toward the center, toward a line in the center by the trap, and then the mutual repulsion uh, keeps them apart. There's air currents that push them around a little because the trap is kind of open. And then finally there are the end caps that keep the, the particles centered in the trap. So there's a lot going on all at once. Uh, and again, if you look in the documentation, you can see the uh, geometry and that'll make it a little clearer. Now I have a DC uh, voltage I can put on as well. It'll apply, apply a static uh, electric field and so a static force. If I turn that down, then gravity pulls the particles down. If I turn it up, then the field will pull the particles up. Some of them will go away. And I can just tune it to the middle and then uh, basically gravity is being uh, canceled. Okay, so I've got gravity pulling the particles down and the DC electric field pushing the particles up and those two can cancel if I uh, do it right. Okay, and so the particles will float in the center. But again, there's this Coulomb repulsion that keeps the cloud uh, separate. So what I'm gonna do now is I will turn the AC trap down and it gets weaker and the particles will start to leave because they get pulled up or pushed down from gravity, uh, pulled from gravity and, and pulled up from the electric fields. And so I'll select particles, okay, those with a lot of charge will get pulled up. Those with not very much charge will get pulled down. And uh, in the middle, they all have fairly uniform charge, pretty much the same charge. So now if I turn this up a little bit, uh, now you see they're all, whoops. If you get a little bit of dust in there, there. That's not too bad. Uh, now you see that they're pretty much on a line. Okay, so that's a, whoops, got a few more in there. There, that's what I had in mind. So that's a one-dimensional Coulomb crystal. So what you see, again, to re recap, there's the trapping forces which push the particles toward the center of the trap. And the center, in this case, it's a two-dimensional trap, a linear trap. The center of the trap's a line. So the trapping forces, the AC trapping forces, uh, push those particles toward the center line, like the axis of the trap. Uh, they're the end caps that keep them from going left or right. Uh, air currents push them around a little bit. You can see them just wobbling around. And there are DC currents, uh, DC fields that will pull them up or down, okay? And, uh, and then gravity pushing them down. So I cancel gravity. And, and then, of course, finally, there's the mutual repulsion of the particles. And so in the end, I have uh, a Coulomb crystal, a one-dimensional Coulomb crystal. And you can make these 
uh, however you like. You can make fewer. So there's a nice trap. Uh, eight particles right in the trap. Okay. And they'll just sit there really indefinitely. If you uh, block the uh, openings, uh, you reduce the air currents, and then they become quite stable, and they will just sit there. Okay. Now I can turn up the fields higher, and you'll notice some of them go into these... Whoops, I'm picking up some more particles. But some go into these... Whoa, lots more particles. Okay, get rid of some of those. I was going to try to draw your attention to some of these extended orbits you see like the one in the middle there. Okay. Those are described in the documentation. There's an instability. If you turn the fields up too high, the orbits will become unstable and go into what we call extended orbits. Uh, and you can sort of... There, oh, there's a nice line of atoms. And again, there's some of these uh, orbits, these extended orbits. Okay. If I turn the, the AC down, the extended orbits go away, the trap becomes stable. Okay. If I turn it way down, I'll lose particles. Uh, turn it back up again, they get more tightly confined, and then some of them go into these unstable orbits. And then sometimes I just pull particles right off the, uh, right off those, uh, those bars. So you see some of the orbits here. Oops. Getting a little dirty in there, I think, so. Stuff just coming off from all over. Okay. Now here's a fun thing you can do, is we're going to turn this down and we just put in lots of particles here, a bunch of particles, and then we turn up the field and lo and behold they all pile into this, 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 this uh, clump of, of ions and they're moving like crazy. They're actually rotating around in what we call a trapnado, okay, and that's these extended orbits and I describe it a little in the documentation. What's happening is you excite particles into these extended orbits and they're moving round and round and round uh, orbiting around the center line and that produces a bit of a fan effect. It blows air out and when you blow air out uh, the, the sides it pulls in from the center and it actually the air currents keep those ions uh, connected together in this knot and, uh, and it will just sit there oscillating away and you see occasionally uh, particles can get uh, sucked in. I'll put a few more in over here on the side and you see them getting pulled up uh, and just sucked into the trapnado. It is a little like a tornado in that it uh, involves air currents. Okay. Now if I turn it down then it just goes back into a bunch of particles and I turn it back up and then I get two trapnados which combine into one. Okay. So I can play around just with the AC voltages and really make that thing dance in some crazy dances. <clears throat> uh, and again, this, this is, happens all the time. If, even if you're not looking for it, it will spontaneously happen. And so it's just an interesting phenomenon in these traps. And there we go. So that's some of the things you see when you are playing around with the uh, linear trap. Okay, so let's try again. We can make a, a nice cluster. We can get rid of most of the particles and just have a nice stable line of particles. And we can turn it up and we'll get a few more coming in. We might get some of these extended orbits. There's one. Actually diamond shaped. It's a very nice view there. We'll push it around a little with the air currents and you can see the diamond shape a little bit. Okay, crazy stuff. More diamond orbits and then you turn it up and you get more and more and pretty soon they all coalesce into a trapnado. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, that's the linear trap. Thanks for listening.